It's the weekend, guys. Woo woo! Welcome to Saturday morning. And here I, I brought a new toy again, a new tiny toy. Well, you've already met me. Oh, but look below. Ah, hey, what's up, my bum? Ah, hey, little man. I'm out of here. How rude. That's right. They're just little tiny itty bitty teensy weensy little butt cracky little sumo guys that are just locked in eternal battle for all of time. Isn't that marvelous? So, whew, yeah, sorry, keep rolling back to that guy's butt. All right, today we're going to go back down to the city. We were up at the camp yesterday. We're going to shimmy on back down. More about that place later. We're going to go back down here, and I want to do our very first shop. It is somewhere in the middle of the town here. And I'm going to do, get this set up. A little something, something. I just had to do something else for a couple friends since I did something for the missus yesterday. And because my dear friends, my dear friends Fumihiro and Yoko, Hiro and Yoko that I met in Japan, Hiro and I worked at summer camp together. And then later I'd go on to travel to Japan to wrestle. More on that some other time. And, um, we would always, I was always be invited to come hang out with them and they were always super kind. And then they moved from Japan to France, which I also think is just super amazing. And so they're like incredible because they speak Japanese, obviously they speak English, they speak French. They're just like real people of the world. And I'm always very impressed by them and they're always very kind and we keep in touch. So. I decided, I have decided, people of the world, these French and Japanese hybrid, that they would be maybe running a, a, a shop. And I thought, all right, so they're Japanese, could it be sushi? That's too basic. Let's have them open up a shop that sells baguettes, French baguettes, but it'll be called the Karate Chop baguette shop because the specialty there is that they're able to chop all the bread in half with their bare hands after they've cooked a fresh a fresh loaf of a nice french baguette have you ever had a real nice french baguette and i decided that i'll make them foxes so he's just going to be pulling some fresh baguettes out of the oven maybe giving them a little giving them a little whiff and I got a feeling this one's going to take a little longer to sketch out make them pulling this out of this oven back here and I'll make a customer here um oh you know I had an idea for an elephant and I'm going to make him stopping to get a baguette and his name is going to be Harry Elefante, and he's a musician also, and he's going to play Calypso music, and he is hungry. He's stopping in for a baguette on his way. He's going to own a dance studio, because he knows dance, he's music, he plays the steel drums, the maracas, he can hold a maraca right there in his trunk, and oh, I'm going to give him like one of those frilly, frilly shirts. So anyway, this will take me a few minutes. I'm going to sketch this in and then we'll start inking it in. I'm just kind of laying the groundwork here. So we'll just jump back in a few. All right, that just took a little finagling. So just to get all this kind of laying out just sort of enough how I wanted it. So I got it laid in well enough. We'll just start inking it in. And I don't know if you can hear very faintly in the background. Lola is all the way upstairs practicing her violin right now so that's good that only took about me asking her yeah, only about 100 times that's pretty good I had to get my other daughter Stella up to practice her ukulele so we played that a little bit together those are the biggest challenges right now just trying to get that going so yeah, I was just talking to my friend 
Fumihiro. I was just talking to Hiro the other day, and he's been doing well. Living in Nice, France. And Yoko has been doing well. They've been enjoying it there. It sounds really nice. It's way down the southern end where the sun is shining and the beach is close by. We're up here in northern Minnesota. We got still got snow on the ground, but it's melted off a lot in the last few days. There. There. She's just laying in the big karate chop. So, all right. This is only sort of hokey that they're wearing karate geese, but then also, of course, they're wearing the uh, little French beret. I wonder if anybody in France still wears berets, or is that just tourists? I don't know. I just watched National Lampoon's European Vacation, and they, got, they wore them there. Just the tourists. There, we're going to give... We're going to give Harry Elefante his maraca. And he's going to look pretty happy about this. He's just stopping in. I think it's kind of a good, easy grab-and-go place. You can get a, get a baguette, maybe some drink, and just kind of take it, take it to go on your way out the door. He's got those great big floppy elephant ears. Harry Elefante, he's he's a popular guy on the island because he sings, he dances, he teaches lessons. He's got a very busy dance school, calypso music and salsa dancing, and he he plays the steel drum. He can play the steel drum, shake the maraca, and yeah, we're gonna give him some money. We're gonna have to we're gonna figure out what this money's gonna look like. Well. Let's just throw a big, should we just throw a big ampersand on it right here anyway? There. We'll figure out the rest later. We'll put like that in the corner and something in the middle. I don't know. We'll figure that out too. And the table there. And the, you know, of course the bread is chopped to order. Kind of like going to, you know, Benihana or something, going to the hibachi. You know, they cook the food right in front of you. When you come to order a baguette, they freshly use their well-washed hand to just hack it in half right in front of you it's like a turns it into a little bit of a a little bit of a show oh but let's see maybe we'll have her put it down on like a nice little fresh piece of tissue paper at, at the very least instead of just this bare wooden table you know because because hygiene right mm -hmm. and I also thought down here I'd just chuck in a little bucket of day old day old baguettes. You can get a little bit cheaper. I was gonna say then after that maybe they give them to the birds, but you know what? The birds are probably still the people, so they're still gonna have to buy them. Sorry, birds. You gotta buy your bread. <laughs> and we'll put few pieces in there. That's not that much Dale bread. They they sold off most of their bread. They did pretty good. The less in the Dale bread, the better. But I bet you Harry Harry Elefante here, he knows what's good. He is not settling for the day old stuff. He wants something fresh out of the oven. As a matter of fact, uh Hero here is just bringing some Fresh, fresh out, but these are probably a little bit too quick to eat. You gotta let those cool a little bit, or else Harry's gonna be scorching his tongue just a wee bit. And that other one looks pretty fresh. I'll chuck a little, let's just throw a little steam off of that too, just to really drive home the point that that is a piping hot fresh baguette. Spaghetti. All right. Uh -huh. And here's here over here. He's got his beret on too. His little pointy fox ears. I've got a list of like a dozen characters right now. They're all just floating out here, and I'm trying to decide each one which one I want to do which day. 
and so today I decided to do this do this two for well three for don't forget about Harry over here I'm gonna make this oven open too so this just so that way it really looks like you can really tell Hero just pulled these out. All right, we'll finish drying this in, and then we'll just go to Turbo Paint. See you in a few. And there it is, the finished product. Oh yeah, this took a little bit longer, obviously, because I sketched it. I have three characters and put all this little wood grain and rock in here. So this one did take a little longer. So thanks for sticking with me. You know, as I was painting it now, I'm sort of wanting a nice baguette. It is like time, time for some munching. I made this little logo down here that I'm half pleased with the dale bread down here here is harry elefante coming up to get his grindage there a little munch on some grindage and there it is so this is le le cratis chop baguette shop le is french for the so yeah there you go all right guys have a good day and i will see you tomorrow and please share this along with friends i'm happy that you're watching I made this just for you but uh, kick it along to some friends that you think might enjoy seeing some of these silly things too. All right, thanks. Bye.